Hello students, welcome to Jazzy All in One YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about introduction to information age. This is for Tamil Nadu State Board 8th standard students only. This is 9th unit of science subject. Learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, student will be able to to know about the computer, to know the history of the computer, to identify software and hardware of computer, to know the input unit, CPU and output unit, to distinguish the features of hardware and software. What is computer? A computer is an electronic machine that accepts data, stores and processes data into information, uh, otherwise known as a computer is an electronic data processing and storage machine. Okay. The computer follows instructions called programs which determine the tasks the computer will perform the computer is able to work because there are instructions in its memory directing it. Listen. Generation of computers. We are living in the fifth generation of computer. Our first one is Wacom, first generation of computer. Uh, main component used vacuum tubes, second generation transistors, third generation integrated circuits are simply called as IC. Then fourth generation microprocessor, uh, fifth generation artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence mean uh, that is a, a set of instructions work automatically according that software. I look at the table. There are four columns. First column serial number, second generation of computer, third one is a period, fourth one is main component used. Okay. First generation computer in the period 1942 to 1955 that is uh, used uh, vacuum tubes okay then second generation 1955 to 1964 the main component used uh, by transistors third generation 1964 to 1975 that is Integrated chips or main component used in the third generation of computer. Fourth generation, 1975 to 1980, uh, here the microprocessor are used. Fifth generation, 1982 till date, okay. Uh, that is uh, artificial intelligence like uh, robo. Then, parts of a computer. Input unit, central processing unit, simply known as CPU, and output unit. These are the part of a computer. So, input unit, central processing unit, uh, or processing unit, output unit. These three units are integrated by known as computer. Then what is input unit? The input unit helps to send the data and commands for the processing to computer. The hardware device that are used to input data are called input devices. For example, very common input devices are keyboard and mouse. 
then others scanner bago radar microphone web camera or digital camera light pan joystick and touch screen are some of the input devices mouse mouse is very basic input device mouse is an essential part of the computer the standard mouse has two buttons and a scroll ball in the middle the mouse is used to move the pointers on a computer screen right button is used to select files and to open the folder left button is used to carry out corrections in the file the page on the monitor can be moved up and down using the scroll bar we can customize these buttons according to our usage okay keyboard a keyboard is an input device it is also very common input device a keyboard delivers data in the form of letters numbers and symbols to the computer it may be letters or numbers or symbols okay the key used to type the keys by the number are called number keys or numeric keys and the key with letters are called the alphabet keys that is a to z okay numbers 0 1 2 3 up to 9 are called number or numeric keys okay central processing unit simply known as cpu cpu is the brain of the computer the data is processed in the cpu the cpu has namely three parts they are as first one is memory unit then arithmetic and logic unit simply known as alu and control unit control unit the control unit controls the function of all the parts of the computer like mouse keyboard monitor printer also arithmetic and logic unit arithmetic and logic unit performs all the arithmetic computations like addition subtraction multiplication and division memory unit the memory unit in the computer saves all data and information temporarily We can classify memory unit into two types namely primary and secondary memory RAMs and ROMs are known as primary memory and all removable storage medias are known as secondary memory memory can be expanded externally with the help of compact disk pen drive or memory card etc output unit the output unit converts the command received by the computer in the form of binary signals into easily understandable characters for example monitor printer and speaker
Classification of computer. The computers can be classified based on their design, shape, speed, efficiency, working of the memory unit, and their applications. They are as mainframe computer, mini computer, micro computer, and super computer. Here I'll discuss about personal computer and its types. A personal computer comes under the microcomputer category. Based on the memory and efficiency, they can be classified as desktop, laptop, and tablet. Here I'm going to discuss about hardware. Computer is divided into software and hardware. Hardware is the parts of a computer. Software is known as set of instructions. No, okay. Here, hardware is the parts of a computer which can be touch and feel. We can touch and feel each and every parts of a computer. Hardware includes input and output devices. They are as cabinet means mini tower okay then hard disk that is a secondary storage media memory secondary memory unit motherboard this is the main component of CPU then SMBS SMBS means switch mode power supply that is a box like structure then CPU, central processing unit, then memory, primary memory as a RAM, means random access memory, then CD drive, so CD means compact disk drive, okay, then graphics card. These are the parts of a computer known as hardware. Software Software is programmed and coded application to process the input information Simply known as set of instructions We can't touch and feel like hardware Okay Then types of software the software is divided into two types based on the process. They are as system software and application software. System software is otherwise known as operating system, simply called as OS. For example, Unix, Linux, Windows, DOS, and Mac OS. Application software System software System software is otherwise known as operating system simply called as OS That makes the hardware devices to process the input or data and to display the results on the output devices like monitor, printer, speaker etc. Without this operating system, computer can't function on its own. For example, DOS, Linux, Unix, Windows, and Mac OS, and also a reason operating system. Okay. Application software. An application software is a program or a group of programs designed for the benefits of end users to work on computer. End user means user of a computer. For example, 
video player audio player word processing software Word processing software like ms office star office LibreOffice also drawing tools like photoshop corel draw page maker also and uh, some of editing softwares etc these are the application software types of software like the chart software divided into two types like system software and application software then system software also divided into two parts two types there is system management program and developing software also application software also divided into two groups or two categories one is general purpose software and the one is specific purpose software okay dear students this session come to end watch carefully and listen carefully study well we will meet another one video with another one chapter thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye